Hey guys, we just got out of the Sydney premiere of Wonder Woman. We got freebies, it was awesome. I'm Draz. I'm Jared. We're from So Is It Any Good, and this is our review on Wonder Woman. So Wonder Woman tells the story of Diana, princess of the Amazons. She is living in an island paradise. And then this American pilot crash lands into the water. She saves him. He tells them of the horrors of World War I. Uh, Diana needs to do something. So they grab a boat back to civilization mm -hmm. or our civilization and uh, go to find Ares. Ares, the god of war, <laughs> who Diana thinks is behind everything. The movie stars Gal Gadot as Diana, Wonder Woman, but they don't actually use Wonder Woman. No. We don't hear it at all. It's just Diana, or Diana Prince. Uh, we got uh, Steve Trevor, played by Chris Pine. Yep, in full Captain Kirk mode. Captain Kirk mode, and he reminds me of Steve Rogers, Captain America. A little bit, a little bit. How much does he put? Yeah, yeah he's got the same haircut. Him. Apparently everybody in World War I had the same haircut. <laughs> True. I reckon he probably could have played Captain America. Yeah. He certainly shows off his muscles. Yes, you're gonna like that, girls. Yeah. He does get quite nude. Uh, we got Robin Wright as well, and we have Connie Nelson and Danny Houston, but you have to watch this to see what those characters are. So what do you think, Jess? It kicked serious ass. Sorry, Marvel, but DC has packed a good punch and they're taking over. Oh my god, this is a fourth film, so we had Superman, we had Batman vs Superman, Suicide Squad, and now we have Wonder Woman with Justice League on the way. Yep. Brigham loved every little second of this movie. Gal Gadot is phenomenal. Her She's screen, amazing. Her screen presence, her beauty, I couldn't get over it. I don't, I don't know where they found this woman, but she <laughs> is bringing together their extended universe like nothing else. Oh, definitely. She plays that good mix of tough as nails, but innocent and naive about the world and you just believe every second of it. Oh definitely, she really draws you in. Would you say this is probably the best they've done so far? Most definitely. It's out, out of the hands films. down the best DC movie to, to date in the official extended universe. Oh man, it was so good. Yeah. Funny throughout, the Chris Pine's really funny. Oh, he was great in it. And from the get-go, their, their chemistry is mm. amazing. Yeah, all of the sidekicks, the secretary, the, secretary the three guys that they bring in to help them with their mission are awesome. You, yeah. know what, you know what I love the most about it was, in Batman vs Superman we saw that photo, with like an old photo with all of them lined up. Yeah. So we wanted to know a little bit more, and you get to find out who's behind that team, what is the significance of the photo. Yeah, it was so, it was so good. I think the romantic aspect, of uh, Steve Trevor and Diana was great. It was the, the whole time I'm like, kiss her, kiss her, kiss her, please! <laughs> or I'll go kiss her. Yeah. But <laughs> Somebody kiss her. Please, she's so good, but yeah, blown away still, man. I, I'm just like, I didn't even know what to say because it's such a good movie. Yeah. I think it probably has some issues in the end. I think it, it hits, a hits a good climax about halfway through the movie. Yeah. The, um, the battle on the front is probably the standout for me, where she like gets up out of the trench and, oh, yeah. and starts kicking ass. That's probably the highlight of the movie, and there's a good probably hour after that, so it kind of loses steam a little bit for me at the end, but um, still really solid. Favourite parts? Favourite parts. Uh, I won't take that away from you with, with you, what you said. I think probably my favourite part was the ending. There was a huge big battle with Diana and the main villain of the film, which I'm not going to give too much away, but it was so intense. It kept you on the seat. I think, yeah, it did have highs and lows throughout the film, but the ending, I think, for me, went out on a bit of a high. That's good. What did you think? What's your favourite scene? <laughs> well, the, my favourite scene was the, the front. They're trying to save a village from the Germans and Diana's just like, fuck this, <laughs> and like, drops her cloak. She's in, it's, the, it's also the first time you see her in the full Wonder Woman oh, get yeah. up. Which is, so they got that awesome shot of her just kind of marching through, yeah. And um, that song, man. I love that. <laughs> I want to walk. I want to walk down to my wedding, just down the aisle, having that song playing. Yeah, for sure, man. Well, I'm, sure, I'm sure your fiance would be fine with it. Yeah, that. I think she'll like that. Yeah. 
Low lights. Were there any? Low moments. Personally, no. I don't think there was any low moments for just, me. Just all highs. It was getting high. I think every time there was supposed to be a low moment, we'd see uh, Gal's face and it was just like, oh, <laughs> so dreamy. <laughs> so much in love. <laughs> yeah, what about low moments for you? I didn't like the overuse of slow-mo. In, yes. in a lot of the a lot of the fight scenes, they tend to do some extended slow mo shots. Mm. They're very cool, but after like twelve of them, you're kind of all right. Keep going. That seems to be the the way that the Amazon women fight. And in the beginning, it was weird. The the CGI was a little bit ropey on some of those scenes on the a beach little bit. when they were supposedly flipping off horses and whatnot. Like obviously, that's hard to do, but. <laughs> Like, you're 20 minutes into the movie, you expect yeah. you expect them to at least front load the good CGI. It was crazy, like they did slow it down, but then you could see sort of the errors and, and to then it. it. And then it was sped up weird, so yeah, that kind of took me out of it a little bit. But um, And as I said, the, the final mm -hmm. battle didn't meet the high of the middle battle for me, but... True, true. Because it, it kind of gets to a point where there's just powerful people shooting stuff, like energy at each other after <laughs> like explosions yeah. and fighting yeah. yeah so like that part i didn't love but it was it was still yeah. awesome without giving too much away it's her origin story but you don't find out everything there's still so much more behind it because her mother's holding back yeah. some of the things yeah but the good part is that we find out along with diana so yeah it's it in that sense it's a true origin story because she, uh, even she doesn't know the extent of her powers um so she's finding out along the way true true i, I think watching it unfold through her eyes was probably one of the best bits as well yeah those eyes man <laughs> <laughs> oh she's so good <laughs> let's all just think about her eyes for a minute oh i love her so much Girl. so all in all solid effort dc Big ups to director Patty Jenkins. She knocked it out of the park with this one. It's definitely the best in the DC Extended Universe thus far. Final thoughts? Final thoughts. This is for you, girl. I know you're married with a child. I'm about to get married. But if there's any way we can be together, I, I love you. <laughs> <laughs> Look, I love Wonder Woman. I thought it was a magnificent film. Big yes. Big yes from me. Big yes from me. And big yes for Gal. Perfect. <laughs> anyway, guys, it comes out this Thursday. June 1st. So June go 1st. see it. I'm Draz. I'm Jared. We're from So Is It Any Good. Remember to subscribe below. And we'll see you next time on another review.